And this surprisingly leads out to the surface. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? But here we can jump down and find ourselves over by the waterfall. In addition, you can see this our little boat has landed here. If you whip the wall up and to the right, where you can see this little blue and gold something, you'll find a treasure chest with a sacred orb. In addition, in the original version of La Mulana, this version is actually a remake if I haven't made that clear yet, uh, in the original version, there was a sacred orb right here. However, if you try to whip that now, it'll just be bats. Just bats. Sacred orb. Accurately bats. So, now Elder Zelpit has emailed us. Ooh, a new laptop has come out. Two new models. Oh, he already bought the other one. Okay. So, once you beat four bosses, it doesn't matter which four, just any four, a new it laptop will come in and you can buy that, which I will be doing. Oh yeah, certain piece of gain software. I have that, that's Mirai, and you can use that to warp through the alternate world. Fun. Now let's warp to the girl point of the surface, where we can then buy that new laptop. Let's see what Zelpa has to say. Twice as many applications. Wow! Amazing. Or is there a hidden dungeon? <laughs> Wise words from the village elder. <sighs> Fine. Elder Zelpud, why are you so antisocial? Probably because he's an old man who lives in a tent in a village next to a ruin. This is the new laptop, the Mobile Super X2. It runs circles. <laughs> so now, what this allows us to do is equip 2,000 M's, whatever those are, of data. So I'll be going ahead and equipping that. And there's not much else we can equip, but that's doing pretty well. Once we get more software, that'll definitely come in handy. So just good to have. So now that we have some more life, and we have a better laptop, let's warp again. Where to? Where to? You know what? No. <laughs> I changed my mind at the last moment. Let's go to the Mausoleum of the Giants. And likewise to the Graveyard of the Giants. Luckily the uh, backside door for the Mausoleum of the Giants is really, really close to the Grail Point, so it's not a hassle to get to the Mausoleum of the Giants without the Grail Point. Speaking of the Grail Point of the Mausoleum, I mean, or the Graveyard of the Giants, that's where we're going now. It's what I want to find and what I intend to find. If you've lined these two things up like that, you can see that it makes a little ladder over there. But now that we have the grapple claw and the double jump, we can get across to here and scan this. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. That's what you're supposed to... S okay. Within the hands of the four, that's... Technically, both of those could point to that one clue. Whatever. Ha. Huh, humbug. Speaking of which, we can actually delete these. There we go. And now, if we jump up... Oh! That was lucky! Alright. We can get up here, in which we can whip this wall to find money! Yay! We have 250 coins still. That's a lot. Alright, now let's make our way over here, where we can hop right through this wall with the greatest of ease, and find the grill point. Easy peasy. Resting place. Aw. So sad. And as you can see, we've got a number three there. Ooh. This doesn't seem like the Temple of Moonlight. That's weird. Okay. Ignoring that. Place a pedestal- or a weight there. Ah! Yes, that's right, it's a warp. Uh, let's see, where do we go now? Ah, that's right. If you come up to back where, uh, I whipped that happy face. <laughs> or, shurikened. Because that's a word. You can climb down this ladder and continue to connect the two areas. When all this is said and done, it might be useful. Might. Ah, there we go. Now we can climb up here. This room is one big puzzle, which is kind of cool, actually. Oh. Aha! And doing 
And that will get us to here, which will finally let us do this. Oop. Yep, I've got the Book of the Dead. That's done already. Thanks for your concern, though. Alright, so this room is now clear. We can pass through it at any time, if we so desire. But now it's time to do something a little bit different. It's time to unlock the true potential of Eden, and see what happiness that we may find within it. Oh no, okay. Okay, everything's fine. No need to worry. Whoosh. Now you may have noticed right now that Lama Lana has kind of a weird thing going on with uh, moving platforms and ladders. You can't move up and, you can't move up uh, through screens simply by jumping through them. You either have to take a, la a ladder or be standing on a moving platform. Which, which can provide some interesting constraints because ladders are basically your best method of transportation upwards instead of jumping. But now we've got this treasure chest that we need to open by opening the treasure chest from left to right. To do that, you do one, two, three, <laughs> and voila! Open it up and get the fruit of Eden, the key to unlocking paradise. Now, doesn't that sound joyful? Let's head upwards. Alright, now let's go to Eden. I'm sure there's so much wonderful stuff that we can do there now. Ah, looking forward to it. Certainly am. Here we are in Eden again. Oh, there's a pedestal here now. I'm sure doing this will just open up these walls or something. Let us to go read that tablet over there, maybe. Oh god! Dear sweet Jesus, what is this? Oh shit! Uh. <laughs> this is the gate of illusion. It, it used to be Eden. Now, it's not Eden anymore. Now it's terrifying. Terrifying. Oh god. The Gate of Illusion is the backside to the Gate of Guidance. That's right. Simply wandering will not lessen the illusion. So, yeah. This place is full of diabolical puzzles. It's not really a combat oriented area, it's more of a puzzle oriented area, but that doesn't change the fact that it's terrifying. In addition, you've got these uh, bloody Olmec heads in the background that are smiling creepily with these big eyes, and it's just, ah, uh, stop it. Let's see what Elder's output has to say. Yeah, there are basically little teleporting notes. You saw one back when uh, I was doing the whole thing with that stuff, yeah. Also, you want to walk past all of these treasure chests. Don't ask why, just, just do it. Just trust me on this one. Okay, so there's some incredibly specific solutions, and just to annoy the people who've played this game already, they actually have changed the solution since the original La Mulana came out, just to mess with the people who've played this already and were confident that they could beat it. This is reflected in this tablet. One fool believed in his foolishness that he was a wise man. The fool flaunted his shallow wisdom and made decisions with a narrow mind. He proceeded to the right without hesitation. Going to the right was the solution in the original La Mulana. Another fool possessed, w fool possessed wisdom, but his knowledge led him to believe he was a fool. A fool who smothers himself without first considering the situation. He went the flow with the flow and proceeded to the left. One can only hope that a true wise man stands here now. So what that means is that we don't want to go to the left or the right, because either way we're going to be a fool. Instead, scan this. Yeah, I don't even know. Just, just fall through here. Thy understanding is impressive, wise one. Be thee a wise man or a fool. Thine actions shall reveal the truth in hopes that thou art a true wise man. Is Lamezo a wise man or a fool? The world may never know. Anyway, here's the part where we've got a bunch of warps. Oh yeah, also, walk past all these treasure chests. It's important. There. Doing that will open that chest. Which isn't... Uh... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Walking through here will teleport you to here. And for some reason, restart the music. Let's see what this is. The fool will never find his way. We've got to be creative. We've got to go somewhere that we weren't expected to go. Which means, back the way we came! Or is it? Now, if you look at the place below us, you'll see that 
That warp zone, shown by the little shimmery spot on the wall, looks a little bit thicker than the other one. In fact, you can go down right here like a Mario fight by pressing down, which is kind of misleading, to find this. You're right here. Oh, damn it. I messed it up. Alright, now we're back where we are. Or back where we started, at least. Let's just go back the way I came, I guess. Head through. And there. Don't go left. Just move right, and you'll pass through the wall. And find your way to a new place. Ooh, money. I love it. Alright, we're almost done for now. Alright, last area for now. God, these smiling, these smiling Olmec heads just freak me out. I mean, just look at them. They're, like, mentally deranged. It's like they're gonna kill a puppy any minute now. Oh, hi. Okay, I'll do something for you. Berries. Oh, I love fraud. Fraud is the bestest. Giant face. Oh. Alright, so we have to get treasures out of a giant face's mouth. 500 gold, yes please. Alright. Thanks, mister. I'll go find your treasures. So, now that we have the pepper, we actually have to go back to the Gate of Guidance. That's right. We've got stuff to do here now. Oh, nothing. Oh, wait, 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 before I do anything. Before I do anything. In here. We've got one of these life seals. And that will raise up the ceiling. Huh. Offer three lights to the heavens. Don't mind if I do. Ah, god, these stupid little light things are really annoying. Let's get out our flare gun, not the earth spear. Or the spear. Let's offer three lights to the heavens. Doing that will open the treasure chest. Hmm. There's a weird gap in the skeletons right there. It's kind of a weird design choice. But here we get the crucifix. And what that will do is actually make us invincible to those little light thing guys. Ah, this music is so great. <laughs> Alright, so now whenever we run into those little blue and orange balls of light that kind of remind me of Portal... Now they'll just kind of instantly destroy themselves instead of hurting us. Which is pretty nifty, I gotta say. This guy doesn't look pleased. Let's give him a dash of PEPPA! And we get his treasures. Isn't that convenient? So I guess let's go back to the Gate of Illusion. Ugh, I don't want to go back there. Really don't. 